Okay. So I sat down one day and I journaled and I was like, what are things that really bring me absolute like recharging and pleasure? And I wrote it down based on length of time. So I started out with what I call an amuse bouche, which in <laughs> culinary speak, that's something like a, a one bite. It's one bite. So something that would take five minutes for me to do that was self-care that would recharge. Then I went into a small plate, which would be something that took 10 to 15 minutes. And then I would do something that was an entree, which would take anywhere from an hour to two. Um, and I found out when I was able to write the things that I loved doing instead of what I was feeling pressured by society to do, in those ways that I could literally just look at it and choose instead of being overwhelmed. That was the beginning steps for me to be able to start a self-care practice. Uh, and then over time it was able to develop further. So in the beginning I would have for my amuse bouche or my one bite five minute type of self-care, it would be a Qigong practice on YouTube drinking a cup of warm tea and then taking a walk or my longer ones would be like, go take a dance class pre COVID time, of pre course. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. And then or like go on a hike or like for my um, small plate, it would be something like a yoga class, like a yin yoga class on YouTube. So that's how my self care practices started out in the beginning. And now um, pretty much what I do is I think about, oh, what would I like to do that is going to like feel good to me and help me recharge? And then I do that thing, but I add something to it that touches all of the five senses. So if I have a cup of tea for myself now, if that's all I, all I have time for, I will light a candle, put a crystal out that's beautiful, because that touches on the sight and smell and the tea is taste. Um, and then I'll have like a cozy blanket around me. 